Ed, our next practical joke victim was not all that easy to victimize. She's a cool customer. We're talking about Gretchen Carlson, the new Miss America. You gotta remember, this is a lady who had the poise to answer questions and parade around and everything from uh, evening gowns to swimsuits in front of 50 million people. I, I don't think I could take that pressure. Don't be modest. You've got the legs for it. <laughs> Stop. Now, our accomplices were Gary Collins and Marianne Mobley, and they really, really made it work. I promise you, there are expressions on Gretchen's face you've never seen on any Miss America before. The victim, Gretchen Carlson, Miss America 1989. Miss America is Gretchen Carlson! And here she is at the high point of the Miss America pageant. She never guessed that a few days after this, she'd be in the middle of a practical joke. Our accomplices, former Miss America Marianne Mobley and her husband Gary Collins. Together, they hosted the pageant and presented Gretchen with her crown. The joke took place in Denver, where Gretchen thought they were all introducing a new radio transmitting device, the multi-sync integrated satellite system, which we dubbed the Miss America. It's a total hoax. Now, as Gary and Marianne are rehearsing, Gretchen arrives very relaxed, and why not? She's been told that Gary and Marianne will handle everything. But this is supposed to be a live broadcast to a group of executives in Washington, D.C. And so our plot is about to unfold. Now, step one is to get Gary Collins out of there, so we'll tell him he's got a phone call. What is that time do we have? Uh, we've got about two minutes. Uh, Marianne? Yes? They've got a problem with your mic. Step two, Mary Ann's out. And we're ready to tell Gretchen that the broadcast is going to happen earlier than planned. Oh. Who's coming back early? You're kidding. Okay, look. All right, wait. We're coming back early. Where's Gary? You guys, find Gary. Somebody's got to find Gary. There's and Gary and Mary Ann hiding out in the Gretchen, control room. We're going, we're going Watch Gretchen's early. face as she realizes just she has to fake it. Stand up on Gary's <laughs> mouth. If you can just, just tell them what's going on. Uh, so just, just, you got to add a little bit, a little bit that it's uh, that, that Gary's going to be coming on the set to explain this uh, multi-sync system. But just introduce yourself and just add lib a little bit for it because it's it's not gonna it's very informal so don't worry about it don't worry about it they're gonna be at a breakfast luncheon so it's no big deal. Oh. Here we go. Five. Now remember, four, she knows absolutely three, nothing about two. the system. Hi, I'm glad to be back with you this morning. I'm Gretchen Carlson, the new Miss America, and this is my second appearance here in Denver, and it's been wonderful so far. And we're going to be introducing the multi-sync device here in a moment when Gary comes back. It's a real honor to have this named after myself. It's an honor to be Miss America and carry on a tradition. And hopefully a tradition will be started with this new system here today. Very good. But our stage manager, actor Lee Ryan, tells her to keep talking. <laughs> okay, it's been eight days since I was crowned Miss America. And my life has been drastically changed. I think when Gary announces on the stage that one of your lives is going to be drastically changed, he's telling the truth even though you might have envisioned becoming Miss America. Talk about this. We, uh, telling her to talk about the system. You never know what it's going to feel like when you're actually crowned. But now it's setting in, and as I said before, I'm in Denver doing a few appearances, and I'm fortunate enough to be able to come and talk about the system here this morning, the system that's been named after Miss America. <laughs> now watch her expression okay. as uh, he tells her to stall. Oh. Whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you want. Talk about the machine a little bit. Whatever you can remember about it. Just, it doesn't matter. If, even if you don't understand it, just... Oh. Well, today Gary, Gary and Marianne are supposed to be here with me, and they're going to be discussing the intricate details, details about the system. My only directions are to press a few of these buttons. And I understand that at one point you can receive a shock, which I hope isn't going to happen to me <laughs> during this uh, presentation. Yeah, she's already what received her shock. Yeah. What are we going to talk about? We're just, they're coming, to they're, they're finding them. Whatever you can talk now, about. Now, we're going to throw uh, Gretchen a rope of sorts here, bring in cue cards okay. for her to read. Cue cards, cue cards. Of just course, these are cue cards, practical joke style. Well, we're back with the new invention you've all been waiting to see. This multi-sync integrated satellite system. Now this cue card is upside down. She's reading it anyway, Ed. She's amazing. Telecommu Telecommunications Division of the Air Force Academy. It's a global receiver. Yeah, go. 
She's asked Friends for the next cue card, but they're all upside down. Yet she keeps going. I can't believe it. <laughs> Imagine Marianne playing a joke like this. Wasn't she Miss Congeniality? Yeah. <laughs> Miss America by its inventors. The smaller camp compact portable unit holds the multi-path components that allow for the uplink and downlink without the discrimination now, just listen to that, that will demodulate got to read. <laughs> yeah, we stole it from the instructions for a children's toy. <laughs> and when in sync with the simple, detachable, collapsible dish. Gretchen's doing too well the with the upside-down cards, so here's a little more trouble. Our cue card man is about to, to exactly drop the cards on the floor. 75 oh, no. kilohertz. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Above the operating frequency. She's reading the cards <laughs> off the <laughs> floor. She's amazing. <laughs> There's no cue cards now, so she's looking to the stage manager for help. <laughs> They're sure enjoying themselves. I know. I'm sorry. Who says blondes have more fun? Oh. Um, okay, why don't we go to the machine? See if you can say anything about the machine. Press the, uh, press, press the double D button. The double D button. Yeah. And tell them what you're doing. I am now pressing the double D button. And the alarm will sound, which is a warning explain signal. Explain the alarm. I don't know about the alarm it's system. A, a, explain what the machine will do, what the <laughs> antenna will do, how it'll bring, how it'll bring radio shots to, uh, to all over the world. Just whatever you can say about this it. This machine will bring radio shots to all over the world, and it's, it will be the inception of a new system. Nothing like this has ever been developed before. It's new in technology, made right here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Why don't you, why don't you show them the transmitter, like try to adjust it. Just try to move, move it up to down. Let's just say something about, about this how it transmitter comes. is a satellite transmitter. It just up, up and down whether or not you want it to be high or low. Tell them that it can reach the Himalayas if you can expand it on It can that. expand to the Himalayas, which is an incredible <laughs> distance. So, tell, them, tell them a little bit about Radio Free, radio free Europe. I don't know anything about Radio Free Europe. What is going on? That, that this is going to allow everybody outside this of This is going to allow everybody within large distances to pick up radio signals. This woman okay. is unbelievable <laughs> under pressure. <clears throat> okay, just keep whatever you're going to say. It's, it's like, don't worry, they, they understand what's going on, that it's a screw-up. So you can talk about that, you know, if you want. This is a screw-up. <laughs> In desperation, Gretchen is going to push some buttons. Watch what we do. Uh-oh, lights out. <laughs> Oh, Ed, we've got to get this lady off the hook. Bring it. Gary and Marianne are back. How are you, okay? Uh, first of all, let me apologize for kind of hanging you out to dry. Uh, I went through the whole system, I think. You did. Now, is it functioning okay? Trying to explain what was going on. Right. Well, I was adjusting the satellite yeah. over here, yeah. and then I pressed Marianne's buttons, DD, and the alarm sounded. Okay. Uh -huh. Anything unusual? Anything else happen? I didn't feel a shock, so... No, no. <laughs> no. Nothing unusual. Did happened. the lights go down or up? Yes. Then they I did. pressed A1 and the lights dimmed down a little bit. That's not a good, uh, that's not supposed to happen, is it? No. We did the There's A. There's just one more the button A1, to A1, press A1, for A1, a message so from Gary and Marianne. A1. A1. All right. A1. Gretchen, you're on super bloopers and practical jokes. That's America, 1989, Gretchen Carlson. Holy smokes, we're all going out. First of all, I've never seen anybody. Hi, Mommy. I've never seen anybody so cool. I'm going to go to This don't happen to me. There she is, Miss America. You guys, I'm going to kill you guys.